uh, okay this is the preview of application we are going to develop you can type uh, any number you want uh, when you click dial uh, it will automatically dial the number you entered in the edit text Uh, hello guys and welcome to my new tutorial uh, in this video um, we are going to make one uh, fully functional Android application uh, which is called uh, simple phone dialer uh, in, I will split uh, this tutorial in two videos just to be easier for me and you to watch so first uh, in this tutorial we are going to create uh, uh, application layout uh, I chose uh, for a root uh, uh, layout element uh, linear layout and inside this layout we are going to uh, put six uh, linear uh, horizontal layouts and we are going to give uh, each a name Now in the uh, first uh, layout I'm going to put one edit text and one button. Uh, edit text will be for uh, uh, for putting the numbers and the uh, button on the right side will be for uh, deleting uh, characters or numbers. Uh, next uh, three buttons in each uh, of the layout for numbers and uh, in uh, six layout which I will create in a minute uh, I will enter one I will set one button for dialing and of course we need to set uh, layout height to wrap content in order to see those buttons And as I said, in this sixth layout, we're going to put one uh, button for dialing. Uh, we don't see our uh, final button uh, because uh, we haven't chose the wrap content on our uh, fifth layout, which I will change it uh, in a second. and there, there we go now we have all our buttons shown and now uh, in strings XML I will add uh, strings for each button and uh, star and uh, hashtag Of course, uh, I forgot to add uh, one string for uh, button X and uh, hint for edit text. Now I'm going to add it. And uh, we're going to customize a little uh, each button. Not uh, too much but uh, just to look kind of a simple application so we're going to set text color to color ascent which is this purple color uh, text style will be bold and uh, text uh, size will be 20 sp I will copy all, all those attributes to each buttons and uh, I will change the button ID just to just so we c uh, we can uh, recognize each button and 
as you saw, uh, we need to set from uh, 40 to 30 SP because 40 is too much. And now I'm copying all those attributes to each button. And now let's change uh, button text from uh, those strings which we made earlier. Okay, so uh, this looks kind of better. And for our uh, final dial button, we'll uh, choose the same. But before uh, we do that, I'm going to uh, add one more layout and put all those layouts inside because I love uh, nested layouts it kind of looks more uh, more layered so I will um, change back wrap content uh, layout height because it uh, changed automatically and I will reorder those uh, layouts Okay, now that we have that, I will put uh, on that uh, new uh, linear layout, uh, gravity to bottom. Okay, now we have it. I will add one more string for dial, dial button. And change text. And of course, um, use the text size 30 SP as we used in our all uh, other buttons. But uh, I will customize this button a little different. I will add white color for text color, and background color will, will be color accent. And of course, 20 SP will be enough for this button. I will uh, use no action bar theme and now that we uh, created our layout we need to implement uh, logic we will do that in the next video but before we do that i will just add on each button uh, on click attribute on button delete i will uh, add on delete on button one i will add uh, one on click attribute uh, on button two two on button three three and uh, so on Okay, uh, now that we have added in our uh, layout, we're going to uh, add that uh, on-click uh, listener, so-called, to our main layout. I'll just copy the code and change the name of the methods.
and uh, we're going to create a variable for each button we'll name uh, symbolically uh, for button 1 button 1 for button 2 button 2 and so on and uh, we're going to find uh, and initialize uh, ID of each button again I will copy the line using uh, shortcut control D on uh, Windows and I will just change uh, the name again and uh, that's all I wanted to do in uh, this current uh, video tutorial um, in the second tutorial we'll we are going to implement uh, application logic and we we'll, are we'll going to make um, fully functional application so um, thank you for watching this video uh, the link to second video will be down in the description uh, if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and uh, see you in the next one